صلی اللہ رسول کریم اما بعد فاؤز باللہ من الشیطان جم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی دا بک آف زکاة کتاب الزکاة پارٹ ون ان انگلیش الحمدللہ رب العالمین الصلاة والسلام علی سیدنا مرسلین والعاقبت للمتقین اما بعد Here, next to prayer, zakat is the most important rule of Islam. It has been mentioned in Quran 82 times. It was an obligatory payment to in case of the, we have to follow it. It is a compulsory, it's a mandatory thing mentioned in the Quran. الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ السَّلَاةَ وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ أُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ حَقَّا this is mentioned in Suratul Anfal. And who establish regular prayers and spend freely out of the gifts we have given them of sustenance. Such in truth are the believers. Similarly in Suratul Baqarah Allah Ta'ala says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ And لَهُمْ أَجْرُهُمْ إِنْ دَرَبِّهِمْ وَلَا قَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ those who believe and do deeds of righteousness and establish regular prayer and regular charity will have their reward with their Lord. On them shall be no fear nor they grief. Payment of zakat is good means of atonement of all sin and increase in the grades of dignity. Merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta has commanded the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. خُزُو مِنْ أَمْوَالِهِمْ صَدَقَاتُ تَتَحْحِرُوهُمْ وَتُزَكِّيهِمْ بِهَا This is in chapter number 103, ayah number 9. Of their, chapter number 9, ayah number 103, sorry. Of their goods like arms so that you mightest purify and sanctify them. By paying zakat, not only sins are forgiven but also increase in wealth is promised by God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, not only like uh, increase in the, uh, which increase in the wealth and the purify it. So here, uh, we see further one more in ayah, chapter number 30 and ayah number 39. وَمَا آتَا تُمْ مِنْ زَكَاتٍ تُرِيدُونَ وَجْحَ لِلَّهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُدْئِفُونَ That which you lay out for charity seeking the countenance of Allah that is face of Allah, pleasure of Allah will increase. It is these who will get the recompense multiplied. مُدْعَفِينَ It's from the of you know it will increase, multiply, multifold, double or more. Like Allah alam, how much more it will be. The literal meaning of zakat is to purify and enhancement. In other words, by paying a zakat. Zakat is, you know, it's a tazkiya. So, uh, purifying oneself. His wealth also obtains religious sanction for his possessions. And his soul to his cleanse all sorts of wickedness and filth from Another angle, there is increase in wealth as well as divine reward along with the blessings and bounties attached to the payment of zakat. It is worthwhile to keep in mind the ill effect attendant upon its non-payment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has declared in the Quran the non-payment of zakat as a sign of polytheism. وَيْلُ لِلْمُشْرِكِينَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُوتُونَ الزَّكَاةَ وَهُمْ بِالْآخِرَةِ هُمْ كَافِرُونَ This is in chapter number 41, ayah number 6 and 7. And woe to those who join Allah with those who pay not zakat and who even deny the hereafter. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated that Wealth of those who do not pay zakat is eventually destroyed. This is in Tabrani. In another tradition, it stated that such people are made to suffer famine. This is in also in Tabrani. Apart from the misery and ruin faced in this world, 
the punishment that will be meted out to such people in the hereafter is described in the Quran. Wal-lazina yakni zunal zahba wal-fiddata wal-yunfikhunaha fi sabilillahi. This is in chapter number 9, ayah number 34 and 35. And there are those who are gold and silver and spend it not in the way of Allah. Announce unto them a most grievous penalty on the day when heat will be produced out of that wealth in the fire of hell and with it will be branded their foreheads. Their foreheads will be branded their flanks and their backs this is the treasure which you buried for yourself taste you the treasure of your buried the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam stated that on the day of judgment the wealth of those who have not paid the zakat will be turned into a bald snake most venomous which will bite them continuously and say i am your wealth this is in bukhari for non-payment of zakat in the relation to with their uh, with the animals, he stated, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, those animals will hit their masters with their horns and trample them under their feet continuously for fifty thousand years on the day of judgment. This is in Muslim. In the night of ascension, the messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Miraj saw some people in the tatters and like animals they were eating thorns and stones of the hell when asked uh, about it to the angel Jibreel said these are the people who fail to pay the zakat on their wealth bazaar we it noted that the punishment mentioned in the above verses of the quran and tradition applies not to the hedinists but to the muslims who do not pay the zakat their prayer and fasting not withstanding, said the Messenger of Allah, and pay zakat so that your Islam becomes complete. In other words, our default shows that our faith in Islam is feeble. We have not accepted in all sincerity. For this reason, during his Khalifa, Abu Bakr declares was against those people who refused to pay zakat. Although they believed in the oneness of Allah performed their prayer and kept their fast in the war so waged all the companions of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam joined with the full conviction and without any reservation from this is evident that the person who is not paying zakat is faith prayer and fasting etc are all in vain in the light of the quran and the sunnah of messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is not difficult to conclude it is ever so important to have faith in the five pillars that is the five pillars of islam zakat is part of that and zakat means perfection without paying zakat you can't be in that category cultivation of high moral values of the weakness of human being pointed out by the a creator in quran one is the love of the world here it says wa innahu li yuhibbul qaira la shadid this is um, chapter number 800 and verse 8 your riches and your children's may be but a trial and here in surah number 89 and verse number 20 wa tuhibbuna ma la hubba jam'a and your love for the wealth with inordinate love in ambalukum wa auladukum fitna in surah number 64 ayah number 15 and the violent is his love of wealth the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in one tradition stated thus for each nation ummah there is a test in particular thing such a thing is wealth in the case of my followers this is in tirmidhi in surah number 68 al qalam uh, in, in Quran is narrated parable about the virtuous and munificent person who had a garden. After deducting the household and the agriculture expenses from the income of the garden, he used to spend the balance in the charity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had granted abundance in his wealth. That person died. His sons deliberated among themselves to effect that their father was a simpleton. In that, he gives away such a big sum to the poor. 
if we kept the entire income to ourselves you know later on their sons they decided to keep them for keep everything for themselves we would very quickly become rich according when the trees were laden with the fruits and they were ripe and ready to plucked the sons vowed to make a pre-dawn soup on the garden and quietly carry away all the produce to their home with the result that none will notice the harvesting and they will be safe from having to give something to the needy they thought they will go early morning and they will take out all the fruits next day as they approached the garden they were uh, surprised to see that the the fresh and blooming garden completely laid waste when they recovered from the shock they made sure that it was one other than their own garden which was in ruin they regretted their fully and mourned so qalu ya wailana inna kunna taga and they said wo for us you know we have indeed transgressed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declared thus kazalikal azabu wal azabul aqirata akbar law kanu ya'lamun Uh, this is in surah number 68 ayat number 33 such is the punishment in his life but greater is the punishment in the hereafter if only they know from the above mention uh, um, chapter uh, in the quran it's not at all difficult to appreciate how um, tiring is wealth for man if he took around like you know like he has to gift the wealth from that mal so we learn from surah al qalm also like how they saved the money and then everything was destroyed but his father used to give the mal in the zakat in the charity so with this we end here we'll continue in the next part subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka